Welcome to my Costco haul guys. So uh, this is part of my shopping for a two week period um, and again I'm going to do more postnatal freezer meal prep and that'll be a separate video. So this is basically the shopping component of, of that. Um, now this is only half of my shop if that I have um, more than half of it really coming tonight in an online uh, grocery shop that I did through Woolworths so I'm going to add that to this so I will show you everything I've bought for the fortnight now this will not include things that I will go back for um, I tend to always have to go back for milk and bananas at the very least um, so I will show you what I got now I have not been to Costco for about a month if not more um, so I am shopping less at Costco at the moment just because uh, I'm trying to save a bit of money um, to pay for my midwife but uh, so but usually I go sort of every two weeks so I figure I need to still go at least monthly just for because certain things are a much better price for me at Costco especially having a large family it just makes sense to get things in bulk even if I'm spending a bit of extra money every now and then it um it actually works out for my family so this is what I got and then I will show you what I got at Woolworths as well these are the things that I thought were a better deal at Costco I'm going to start with the vegetables over here so uh, carrots were two dollars a kilo at Woolworths at the moment I thought that's ridiculous they're just carrots so got a three kilo bag for three dollars something so it's almost half price at Costco I got two whew, very big two five kilo bags of potatoes um, and I don't know if you want me to go through all the prices <laughs> um, I'm just gonna what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you an overall price of what this cost this was all everything I got at Costco it was four hundred and two dollars okay so I've got two, I've got 10 kilo of potatoes. I'm going to be doing a lot of mashing. At the end of this video, I will also show you my meal plan that includes what we're eating this fortnight and also what I am meal prepping for the freezer this fortnight. Okay, so I also got uh, three lots and I used this washing basket to get things from the car into the house. Uh, and all up including... Um, carrying sleeping children in <laughs> I did 12 trips from the car to the house and my car my what do you call it a bus basically my big van is actually on the street because it doesn't fit in the driveway <laughs> okay so blackberries they look gorgeous got those mushrooms are always a better price at Costco I find and I'm, I'm doing lots of things with mushrooms this fortnight um, I've got a big thing of bed spinach because that encourages me to eat I just put in everything make smoothies all that sort of thing at the moment I'm very fussy with food so it just helps me to get some nutrition and they look gorgeous the kiwi fruits the strawberries don't look the best they will need to be eaten in the, ne eaten in the next day or two but they smell amazing they smell really really good and I only got a small amount of bananas they were a better price than at the supermarket but still not a great price so I'm funny with bananas because we use so many of them um, and even though if I can't get them at a better price, I do keep going back for more and more. So I do end up spending a fortune on them. But I, <laughs> I refuse to spend like a fortune all up on them. Like I'm just not going to go and spend $30 on bananas at once. I just, I don't know. I'm funny. Can't do it. <laughs> just in case I come across a much better price somewhere. Um, and these were a really good price. This was $5.50 around there for two melons. So that was good. And then. So these, I bought some of these in the last haul, you will have seen. And a couple of my boys still need some more t-shirts. Um, my youngest, not my youngest, my second youngest boy, James, doesn't really, but I thought that'd be cute on him. And then my uh, Samuel, who is nine, um, is the one who's majorly desperate for new t-shirts, so I got him too. And then my eldest son still needs some more, so I got him one that I didn't have any more in his size. Now they were an excellent price last time I got them for $10 each they were $4 something this week so they were on super sale so 
So I snapped them up. Okay. I got a packet of Rennie because um, I have this every single day. I get heartburned at the moment. And then we were finally due to get some more kitchen bags. I tend to only buy these, I would say, once a year or something. Then go, so I might buy two of these a year, I'm thinking. But it seems like yearly. I buy them so rarely. <laughs> and they're such good quality. I love them. Okay, I've got some vinegar. I've already got a lot of that, but I can always use vinegar. And that's so cheap. Um, I use it for cleaning uh, and obviously in the kitchen as well. But um, I just use the regular kitchen vinegar for cleaning. It's vinegar. And uh, then I got 90 eggs. Each of those has 18 because uh, I'm doing a lot of things with eggs this fortnight I'm doing some quiches and things and I'll discuss that soon okay Easter is coming up Costco hot cross buns are lovely so they're going in the freezer and then tonight we're going to have the brioche these lovely brioche buns with the lovely veggie burger patties and then some baby spinach and some tomatoes that I already have and some cheese and probably some red onion and that and some pickles they are so good love these love these they were a real winner when I did them a few weeks ago beautiful okay I got two packets of bagels the blueberry are my favorite and then I've got some raisins. My husband's not that into blueberry. And I've got cream cheese coming in the next shop. I got some of these tins of chicken uh, for school lunches. These were a really good price. I know they're a real sugar treat, but for 60 bars, it was about $13. So that is a really good price. And frankly, I don't mind my children having one thing like that per day. Okay, I got some of this yogurt. I don't really like this. I love Greek yogurt, but this particular brand I don't like to eat um, just as I do, like with fruit or whatever. Um, I find it a bit bitter. But I purchased it because it's really cheap. This whole thing was $5 something for two kilo. And it's just in case I can't get any good Greek yogurt deals at NQR this fortnight, which is an outlet store if you haven't watched those hauls. Um, because I use Greek yogurt in the in the scrolls that I make for the kids lunches so I just wanted to have some of that on hand at a really good price just in case NQR um, let me down <laughs> I got uh, what's this a 12 pack of coconut water and this has um, some of them are plain and some have juice in them and they are mine and I'm putting them away pretty much for I'll probably drink them before I have the baby <laughs> and then have to buy more. But that's sort of my idea. I'm like, oh, got to stay hydrated when you're breastfeeding. It's a while to go, but it's just, you know, be prepared. I'm always getting ahead <laughs> before I have to. Okay, shortcut bacon. So that's Australian bacon, guys. I know a lot of my viewers are from various different countries so that's basically what bacon looks like in Australia compared to like for instance the American streaky style and I like both the streaky style is gorgeous just with eggs but I do prefer the Australian style in cooking I find it has more uh, it's less crisp but it has more meatiness and a bit more flavor in a way Okay, and then I got lots of salami because one of the things I'm freezing are pizzas. Woohoo! It'll be my first time freezing homemade pizzas, so that'll be interesting. And you're coming along for that ride if you want to. Okay, happy cow cheeses. Good to have in the fridge. And then cranberry juice for my husband, really. I don't really go for cranberry juice myself but it's his absolute favorite so I got that now mayonnaise <laughs> I'm slowly going brain dead <laughs> as this haul progresses I got some pickles they are the nice big ones I've got a couple of jars of the little sweeter ones but they're really nice in burgers 
and then a huge thing of toilet paper flushable wipes which are fantastic when you're toilet training kitties and then a big thing a plain flower and that's what I use to make the kids scrolls for lunch as well and I do have a video coming up on what I've been giving the children instead of sandwiches at school I just found I was getting really over the boringness and the tedium of having so many loaves of bread in my house and constantly making sandwiches and very often seeing sandwiches come home uneaten okay and then I'll just show you this um, another video I've got coming up will be a camping supplies video because my in-laws are getting rid of their camping supplies they've decided they're not going to be camping anymore and they're giving them to us uh, on Saturday so I am so excited and I'll go through it all and then figure out what we still need to get because um, we haven't gone camping for a few years but we love it so um, but we don't have a garage we don't have a basement because this is Australia. We don't have basements in Australia. We don't have an attic. Um, we don't have a spare room. <laughs> We've got no storage, guys. I have to constantly keep on top of clutter and stuff because I've got nowhere to hide anything. So I'm thinking that we need a little tiny shed um, that we can just keep in the carport just for um, camping supplies and things like that. So I noticed at Costco today that they um, do do sheds, so I might not get it through them, but I just got this pamphlet so I can have a look and um, see what I think of their sheds. Okay, so that is the Costco haul. I have been rambling on, guys. It's going to be a lengthy video. I apologize for that. I will be back in one second to you with my Woolworths haul. all right guys so now my Woolworths shop has arrived it's quite a few hours later and uh, I'll take you through what I got after this little bit I will then take you through my meal plan for this fortnight and for the freezer meal prep okay so I'll start down here on the floor you know I got a lot when I have to put things on the floor I got 12 times 3 liters of milk so 36 liters of milk um, I am doing a couple of recipes that do require milk so I got a couple more than last time but I probably will still need to go back and get a couple of cartons um, at some point then I got some laundry detergent quite a bit of it each one's only a liter and it's an earth brand so it's nice and gentle and okay for the environment and everything okay and then I got some um, foam soap refill stuff that did leak a bit so I've got it in a bag some shampoo and conditioner a few in wash soakers just one thing of sandwich bags some bleach a couple of night nappies and other nappies and a big box of wipes there's a couple of pillows there that someone needed and then up here I got I got razors for myself I've got so many razors these were half price though and they're one of those things that I'm always going to use so may as well pick them up when they're half price toothpaste galore look how big that is toothpaste galore for all the age ranges um, so that covers all the sort of household and toiletry sort of um, things that we needed and I do include that in any shopping budget and then um, this is something uh, I thought I'd try because it was half price and it's supposed to be a lot better than something like spam I will just try one um, and if it's okay then that might be something good to keep in my extended pantry I thought that's I believe an Australian product and yeah, it's supposed to be leg ham. It's supposed to be really quite nice. I've heard good things about it. I don't know. <laughs> I certainly won't touch spam. <laughs> so it better not be anything like that. And then I got four tins of diced tomatoes. 
I got four tins of tuna in spring water. I got two tins of crushed pineapple and two of uh, pineapple slices. Four tins of corn kernels. Some of the some of the things I purchased this week are just to restock in my extended pantry a little bit. I got 12 tins of coconut milk. I got four litres of vegetable stock. I got four packets of spiral pasta and four packets of penne pasta. Okay, and then I got lots and lots of chicken breast. I think each one is about 1.3 to 1.4 kilograms. So, six, so four, yeah, there's over five kilo of chicken breast there. And then I got lots of chicken drumsticks, three times that, and it's <laughs> meant just for one meal. So we will be um, having a chicken feast. <laughs> um, we may have leftovers for the next day, we'll see. And then I got sausages, that's for another thing that I'm making and also freezing. I got a couple of kilo of minced beef. I got some short crust pastry. This is something I think I normally make myself, but given that I'm doing a lot of freezer meal cooking, I thought it would be good just to like take one of the, <laughs> take a bit of the load off. So then I got each one of these is 700 grams. That's so just a uh, <coughs> grated tasty cheese. And then I got two kilo of grated mozzarella cheese. I got three 600 ml of cream. I got two packets of cream cheese. I got two blocks of organic butter and two blocks of just non-organic butter for baking with. I also got two big blocks, of, one kilo blocks of tasty cheese. Now, this is something <laughs> that I'm actually being really prepared and putting it away for next Christmas. <laughs> just a stocking filler. It's just these sipper milk flavored straws. And I just think they'd be a really fun thing to, as a stocking filler. And they were half price. They're not used by until like ages, more than a year and a half. So they'll be great. I'm just going to put those away. I got them half priced and you know, that's the sort of thing I do with eight kiddos is I just think ahead a lot. And, and then the same with these little matchbox cards. They were half priced. So I just grabbed a few. They're good just to put away as little present extras or whatever. Okay, I got a jar of olives. I got a huge thing of coffee beans, I got four packets of crackers, and two packets of these crackers, and then one packet of Rye Vita, they're my favourite, love them, and these are my other favourite, premiums, love them, got two big packets of those. I got olive oil, I've already opened that for the potatoes I have in the oven right now, uh, I got some curry powder, I got some Italian herbs, I got a little thing of crunchy peanut butter, a little thing of smooth peanut butter. I got three things of green curry, Thai green curry paste. Um, now, I've got a little bit more bread. Oh, I also got, I got two packets of wheat bix. Then I got one of Nutri-Grain. And I was certain this was supposed to be like over 700 grams and it's a 500 gram one. So I'll have to check the docket. And then I got more bread, more bread in this shop than I have in the previous couple of shops because um, I thought of including a couple of extra sandwich days this fortnight just to, um, so that I'm making less scrolls and that sort of thing, just to shake things up a bit. Um, they might actually appreciate an extra sandwich or two this week, given that they haven't had many sandwiches in the last month. Now, they did substitute two half loaves for a full loaf. <laughs> I don't care. But, um, yeah. So, I got, I think I ended up getting the equivalent of eight loaves of bread for the whole fortnight for ten people. So, it's still not that much. And then, as far as fruit and veggies from Woolworths go, I got two watermelons. I got 
some black seedless grapes, a little bit of bananas. <laughs> and I explained the banana situation earlier. It really annoys me that bananas are put in bags. I don't understand the concept of putting bananas in bags. Bananas are already in their own skin bag. Um, then I've got one, two, lots of apples, a kale mix, an iceberg mix, uh, red onions, brown onions, more brown onions, a couple of things of, what are they, peaches or nectarines? What did I get? They're peaches. I got two bunches of spring onions. I got um, quite a few uh, red capsicums, quite a few green capsicums, a big bag of oranges, and I believe I've covered everything. So for all of that, it costs me around uh, $587, I believe. So $587 for two weeks. Of course, I did uh, do a Costco shop today as well, which I'm only going to be doing every sort of four to six weeks. Yeah. So for the majority of the stuff that we need for all the freezer meal cook up and everything we'll be eating for the next two weeks, it was $587. And then, yeah, I spent money at Costco on bulk stuff. So that's all good. All right, guys, I will let you know what I'm planning to make with all this stuff. So I did those shots yesterday and now I'm going to take you through my meal plan for this fortnight and also for my freezer meal prep. Okay, and this is the belly. <laughs> I'm sitting down to do this. Now, so last night we had um, the veggie burgers with salad um in the burgers um and tuscan seasoned potatoes and that was amazing um now the question mark for this fortnight is i was going to do bacon and parsnip soup and then freeze whatever portions were left over however i can't get parsnips this week for some reason last two weeks ago when i did the shop they were in the stores and now they're just not so I might have to wait to do that. So the meals that I'm going to be having this fortnight, um, plus freezing two of each, are sausage stew on mash, and I'm going to make some extra mash. Now in my last freezer cook up video, I showed that I did some extra mash and put it in the freezer, and um, I think I pointed out that it was going to be for this. I did two lots of it and I have already used one lot of it the other night so uh, I've still got one lot in my freezer and this fortnight I'm going to do um, a quadruple batch of mashed potato so we'll have one when we eat this this week and I will freeze three so then I'll have in my freezer four servings of mashed potato two will be to go with sausage stew and then the other two will be to go with something else that i don't know yet <laughs> but it's good to have in there um, we're also going to be having thai green chicken curry which i love and i'll freeze two of those homemade pizzas i'm going to make those and then i'm going to freeze two batches i haven't ever frozen homemade pizza before so that'll be a first and uh I was going to do it tonight because usually Friday night is pizza night around here. Um, but I am majorly tired because I've just been shopping with the kids all morning. I had to get my mum a birthday present and we ended up, I ended up going to a few other stores as well. <laughs> so I'm really tired. So I'll see. Um, but yes, I'm going to do that. Now quiche Lorraine with salad will have one night and I'm also going to freeze two quiches. I'll probably freeze four quiches for our family to do two meals and then the other things we'll be having in this fortnight with the things that I purchased in my shops will be just bacon and eggs or breakfast dinner whatever sort of breakfast things we could make pancakes or whatever uh, the chicken drumsticks that I purchased and salad a tuna casserole spaghetti bolognese and I bought enough mince to do a double batch of that so we'll just have it two nights in a row and that'll be great and I've still got some lemon garlic chicken in the 
deep freezer, I think. I've got something in the deep freezer. <laughs> so we'll have that with vegetables one night. I've left two nights free, so we'll have like leftovers or I'll invent something with pasta or something like that. And then Sunday we're out for dinner. So that is the plan and I will be doing a video on the freezer meal preparation for these postnatal meals here. Thank you so much for watching guys. Look out for that freezer meal prep video and uh, hit that bell if you want and then um, you'll be notified when I put up new videos. Take care. See you later.